This is my 1959 Ford Thunderbird uh, convertible. It is a, an extremely rare J-Code uh, 430 engine T-Bird. It's finished in its original color combination, which is branding wine red with uh, rare black leather interior. Uh, it's been uh, fully restored, including the exterior, the interior, uh, the mechanics and uh, uh, and all of the uh, the bright work. Uh, it's been a southern car and originally was from California, New Mexico, and uh, and then Georgia. Uh, it is a uh, most importantly a rust-free car. The restoration has on been ongoing, um, and uh, within the last. Uh, year the, uh, the front and rear bumpers were uh, were completely removed and re-chromed um, and it is really a very very uh, lovely car as you can see it does have the Kelsey Hayes style uh, wire wheels wide white wall tires uh, the options include the Ford Cruisomatic three-speed transmission, um, power steering, sure swift power brakes, power convertible top, padded dash, AM FM radio, the Magic Air Deluxe uh, heating and air conditioning, uh, not air conditioning, doesn't have air, uh, heating and defrost system, has bucket seats in the front, uh, the uh, black leather is the 1Y, which is the original and correct, uh, and it is beautiful with the, uh, with the white piping and the bucket seats in the front. I think both the exterior and the interior show much better with the top down. Um, you know, this T-Bird really comes into its own as an open air car. Uh, you can see the leather on it is just absolutely beautiful with no cracking or tears uh, anywhere. It has a padded dash which is in immaculate condition. Um, it, it does have a tachometer which, um, w which was an addition and very helpful with the 430 engine option. Uh, there's an electric fuel pump which was added um, for uh, for additional reliability and touring with a cutoff switch uh, just below the cigar lighter to the right of the uh, the steering wheel. Uh, it does have an AM FM sound system uh, which was built into the dash and um, uh, it, it is a, a T-Bird uh, aftermarket sound system but the dash has not been altered to accommodate it. There's a full set of uh, T-Bird scripted floor mats for both the front and the back and seat belts for both the front and the back which was another very rare option in 1959. The interior on it uh, is absolutely immaculate. The, uh, the trunk area is really lovely. That's the uh, original unused uh, jack as you can see the uh, scotch plaid material in the trunk is really in excellent uh, condition and the top uh, folds all the way back into the uh, trunk area so it's fully concealed. The engine compartment is uh, is beautiful. It's uh, show quality, and it is the extremely rare uh, J Code Big Block 430 cubic inch uh, engine. Um, and from what I understand, this is one of 1,100 convertibles that were produced 
with the rare J code uh, option. And uh, of those 1,100, um, there are just a very limited number remaining in this color combination uh, and in this condition. truly one of the best driving and handling Thunderbirds that I have ever owned. Um, it was restored to a very high level and uh, there's a complete port restoration portfolio. Um, and, you know, with the power steering and the power brakes and the Hammett and radio and the power top and 430 engine, it is an absolute joy to drive. Steering is nice and tight. The suspension is outstanding. The braking is true, and uh, it is the ultimate boulevard cruiser. And with the 430 engine, um, it is guaranteed to bring the kit out in you. It's got the four-barrel carburation with the dual exhaust system. Uh, you now it has the rear-mounted antenna, which was a very unique option and adds to the lines of it uh, the three-speed cruise-o-matic transmission makes it a great joy to drive and so this is the same engine that they put in the Lincoln yes wow you can just feel that torque Yes. Yeah, there's nothing like a, a big block engine with that low end torque. I mean, it, it, it's like when I had my, well, my Viper at V10. At, at such low end torque, you can take off in third gear. And, yes. and, and you know, I drove this up to, uh, drove, uh, recently took a uh, trip to Chattanooga, and uh, you know, it traveled effortlessly at 70 and 75 miles an hour. Oh. The only challenge I was having when I was out driving it was keeping other folks that were taking photos and giving thumbs up from getting too close. Well, that's a good thing. It. Yeah. 